Bottle from Scalettes has gone and jumped in the moat. Raise the alarm. He's trying to escape. Two men down there. There's a prisoner escaping. Catch him. There, below the battlement. Yeah. to wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. It's like they've already gone. Jesus.
What? What have we got here? Enter the. Ah! <laughs>
No, leave me be. Don't kill me. <laughs> I have nothing. Why did anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? doing here? Tired of life? <laughs> I surrender! You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Go on, vanish. If I see you again, I'll kill you. Yes, God bless you. in the wrong place at the wrong time. to buy a sign with the gifts to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me. supposed to be here but just wait a minute. And then I'll come back to you. I won't leave you like this.
Why did he do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? It's Jack. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that mutt the butcher's... Um, mutt? And isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune... Right now, I've got to take care of myself. How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. 
It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take him to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honour? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of coin. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher here? The only way you'll touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. It's that story, it? Not without a sword, huh? Easy there, boy. Noble. Good master won't be moving this in the This is a good place. You're gonna like it here. So, let's get to it.
damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Is Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! told you how it would end. <coughs> you should have listened to me. <sighs> this is nice work. <coughs> the chief is going to like it. <coughs> it's new, isn't it? <sighs> and now, for the maiden bloodletting. <coughs> Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. <coughs> I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Games are over. Go! Disperse this rebel!
Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalit? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalit after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <coughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? Sir Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? I oh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill, my uncle's miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist... But you need to speak to my uncle first. 
You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. 
I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Good luck to you. Thank you.